Have you ever wanted to generate dynamic previews based on some data you have? In this video, I'm going to show you how you do it in Jetpack Compose. Salam alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sharfei Yunus and I make videos about Android development, software development, best practices, and also some productivity tips for development. So make sure to hit the subscribe. Let's get started. So here, as you can see, I have simple custom texts, about two texts, text and the number, right? And I have a simple row with two texts, right? And I have simple here preview that will show me this thing. If I run the preview here, you will see it's simple preview with hello. Let's say I want to have other previews for the same composable, but for example, different text and different number to see how it will look, right? Well, you can make two here or create two color previews or something like that. Here, I think one is over the other, of course. So what you can do, we can do something much better. You can create dynamic data. So what you can do, we can get parameter here. Let's call it data, right? And here the data is text and the number, right? You can create your custom class. Let's say you have a component that accept a custom class. You can pass it directly here. I'm going just to use a simple pair about a string and also a number or an int. Then this won't work because preview required no parameters. What we can do, you can do the following. Next, let's create our sample data, right? Here's our sample data. It's just two pairs, this one and this one. This is a builder of the pair. Now, instead of doing data immediately, we will annotate it with special annotation called preview parameter, okay? It's preview parameter. Now, this will work because it's now how to get the data. And here we need to pass the provider of those parameters. You need to create a provider. Let's call it, for example, data provider, okay? Double, double, because it's required as class. We don't have it, we are going to create it. It will be a simple class. And here we should get it from preview parameter provider, this one. And here we need also to have the type, right? So I'm going to copy the same exact type here, all right? Then of course, I have just to overwrite something. Here, press Alt Enter and implement it as members. Make this one. And here you need to tell it how to get the value. Like you can see here, it is returning a sequence, right? What you can do, we can make directly an equal right? And you can get our sample data. You can, for example, create the sample data based on sequence. You can do sequence of, but here you can do something as sequence immediately. And guess what? It will generate two previews, but it won't use it. That's the beauty. It will automatically generate two previews. That's a good thing. Well, it might make your preview a little bit slower since it will be generating as much as data you have here. So we need just to use the data here. So it is data first and boom, you will see the preview immediately going here. And as you can see, here we have the preview. This is a good feature in order to check multiple parameters and how your composable is behaving for multiple parameters whenever you are doing some kind of testing. Testing in the term is preview testing, okay? So this is basically it. It's pretty simple. You have to create your own parameter provider. Here you can use a custom class and then you can get the sample data and provide the values. Now you need to annotate the data parameter with preview parameters and you can pass parameters to your composable. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. If you didn't subscribe to my newsletter, which is about the productive developer, in the last newsletter, I shared how you can refactor code productivity. You can check it down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and the newsletter, of course. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.